What if I told you there is a specific formula or sauce that can create a hit song after a hit song? In this video, I'll be revealing all the juicy findings from two studies that together analyzed over half a million songs to find out what distinctive features hit songs and hit melodies have in common. So let's get into science. Yes, yeah, science! All right, so let's first create a chord progression by just following one of the studies. So one study analyzed the characteristics of songs in the top 100 charts and then compared them to those outside the charts. They used over half a million songs over a 30 year period and they actually found some distinct differences. And those were that the more successful songs are more happier, have brighter timbre, are less sad, more party-like, less relaxed and more danceable compared to average songs. Songs. So I picked 95 BPM since danceable music is usually around 90 to 130 BPM. And then I created a simple chord progression in a major scale because major scales tend to sound more happy. And with a little bit of uh, cooking we get this. Which sounds pretty happy, so noise. So the other study is called What Makes Songs Catchy. Basically, they made an analysis of hit mel fucking shit. Basically, they made an analysis of hit melodies by major recording artists and studied them note by note to find out exactly why their hooks were so catchy. And what they found was that hit melodies almost always incorporated these elements. Repetition, simplicity, familiarity, and resolution. Which are all pretty, pretty obvious, right? But the last and most important element was actually expectation. In the study, they wrote, quote, Hooks in hit pop songs play with our expectations, and this makes them catchy. As composers, we have realized that simple, repetitive melodies alone cannot elevate the pop composition to hit song status. What they mean by this is that you need to make your melodies predictable, and then find a creative way to violate that predictability. So let's hold ourselves to these five guidelines and make a melody. A simple melody, in my opinion, should be easy to sing along with. So I made a melody that didn't have a too fast rhythm and also didn't jump too much in pitch. I also pretty much only followed the chord notes to make it really predictable. And if we now just repeat this, we got repetition as well. And also, since we're starting every single bar on the A note, and the melody is a bit inspired by Closer from uh, the Chainsmokers, we definitely created a sense of familiarity, so we got that one as well. Now we have a pretty decent melody, but we can still make it way better. So let's add a resolution, which is really easy to do. All you need to do is make sure you end the melody on the root note. And in this case, the song is in F major, so the root note will be F. But before landing on the root, it's usually good to create a little bit of tension. Therefore, I moved a few more notes in the last bar to make it sound like this. now we have an actual good melody. Whoa. So for the final step, we gotta violate the expectation. So the second time the melody plays, I slightly changed a few notes on the third bar so it sounds like this. Like no one will expect this after hearing it the first time, so... I mean, it's exactly what you need to do. And then I added another layer to the lead on these notes to create a brighter sort of timbre and make it more interesting. <music> Lastly, I just created an uplifting and happy kind of instrumental, like the first study suggested. By the way, if you want to learn everything you need to produce electronic music, check out my 7-day course. You'll get exercises, cheat sheets, discounts on plugins, and also an entire bonus course on how to mix all the instruments of electronic music. Link in the description. Feeling lost in the night. Feeling lost in the night. Feeling lost in the night.